is he really pulling out a lighter and lighting a cigarette? To understand the complexity of Teller's life, you need to know the seven basic principles of magic. Sure, magicians rely on props, some of them rigged. But what they mostly rely on is the viewer's shaky grasp on reality. One of the most unsettling parts of a magician's act is when he exposes gaping holes of logic in the human mind. It's these holes that allow him to pour in illusions and make us question our very existence. Magicians are like camouflage designers of the mind. The audience knows the magician is trying to defraud them, the magician knows the audience knows, and yet he or she is going to pull off the impossible, creating a manufactured reality that the audience buys into. So how do magicians do it? It's actually quite easy when you consider that the human mind is simply holding a 3D computational model of reality. We construct our existence out of illusion every single day, and magicians just manipulate it. Think of it, at any given moment there's an undercurrent of data for us to take in, whether it's the light quality in a room or the sounds in our environment. We're bombarded with data, and we can't take it all in. As a shortcut, we rely on memory and past experience to fill in the background for us. Magicians exploit this weakness in perception. Case in point, they hold the classic retention vanish trick, also known as the coin trick. Watch as the magician pinches a coin at its edge between the thumb and first fingers of the right hand and then begins to place it in the left hand without letting go. The fingers of the left hand begin to close and the coin is out of sight, secretly retracted into the fingers of the right hand. But here's the crazy thing, the audience will actually see the coin in the left palm for a split second after the hands separate. The reason is that visual neurons don't stop firing once a given stimulus, here the coin, is no longer present. So our perception of reality lags behind actual reality by about one one hundredth of a second. This is what magicians exploit. Another way magicians exploit our flawed visual perception is through hand movement and misdirection. They can gesture toward a distraction and, at the same time, use another hand that glides through the air in an arc-like movement. Of course, magicians have all sorts of tricks up their sleeves, such as giving the audience members the sense that they have a choice to begin with. Pick a card, any card, doesn't matter, the magician has already gone to the trouble to replace the 52-card deck with the same three choices. As Teller of Penn and Teller says in his article for Smith Sonian magazine about the science of illusion. If you are given a choice, you believe you have acted freely. This is one of the darkest of all psychological secrets. So let us know about your experience with the dark art of magic. Yes, let us know in the comments below and make sure to subscribe for more mind-blowing videos.